welcome listeners to the Toastmasters radio station. A, B, C, D, H, I, I, I. <laughs> this is an insider's show for Division D, and we're, I'm here with two of the paparazzi, members of Area Governors for Division D. I have Area 1 Governor, Valerie Harper, and Area D3 Governor, Barbell Warren. Paparazzi of our Division D Governor for a full year now. Tell me more. Tell me whatever you can tell me about this specimen of a Division Governor. <laughs> <laughs> well, Guy, first of all, thank you so much for having us on your show today. And when it comes to Monica Aiken, yes, there are lots of things to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> it has been a rough year because, you know, there's a lot of competition amongst us governors, except of course for you, you never had a problem, but anyway, <laughs> we can clearly see why she is our leader, size matters, anyway, I want a few mementos today, just to remember some of the fun things that, uh, that I had with Monica, not just this year, but let me begin in the beginning. Oh, no. I remember way back when, when I was still really radiant until she stole the show from me. Uh, in 2010, I met her, and we became, shortly thereafter, we became angels. Oh. I remember so well. We started being area governors together, Tim was our master. Well, uh, but we uh, of course know when there are four fabulous women involved, including Monica Aiken, <laughs> he had no chance. We were really running the show. <laughs> Anyhow, so it started off as angels. <laughs> and from there, of course, you know, there were times somehow we ended up as a little, devils. A little bit devilish. Yeah, that was also in there. I don't know. I mean, that's just when a bunch of powerful women get together. That's just what happens. <laughs> <laughs> but one thing I tell you about Monica. Monica, she is a great leader. She's a great creative person. And she just knows how to put things together. So when I was area governor and I forgot to do my flyers and my program, what do I do? I make one phone call and that woman knows how to take care of things. Yeah, because she's in division A, B, C, D, H, I, every division she no is in governor. She takes over everything that she <laughs> She never takes a break. We were supposed to take a break last year. And then she calls me in December and says, Barbell, somebody had to resign, so I'm going to jump in, so that means you have to come back too. <laughs> <laughs> so Are you saying that she's a little bit controlling? And is that what you're insinuating? <laughs> well, you know. So, okay. <laughs> Like I said, she did create all my flyers and programs this year. And you know, one thing that I really love about her, she is the masterful new, what do you call those things again? Awards designer. That's what she is. Yes. Have you ever seen an award that has a bobble head? <laughs> That's what she started out. Started out as a cheerleader. Yeah. Well, she. She created the most unusual awards. And I think she really, this is what's so good about this, is because she's really good at tuning herself into all of her members. She knows what we're all about. We'll just do whatever our eyes What do you think about that, Valerie? Has it been your experience? <laughs> <laughs> you know, the biggest challenge, though, of course, is going to be, we have heard, Guy, that 
I don't know what she did to get you to take over her spot next year. <laughs> what did she do? She taped, she threw me down to the ground, wrapped my arms behind me and my legs, and I had she tortured me with a branding iron and said, you're going to be the division <laughs> <laughs> You see there? You can see that? <laughs> she knows how to grab a man and make him do whatever she wants. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's why I get along with her so well. <laughs> you can see how detail-oriented she is, right? You know how she goes into a room and straightens up the frames on all the walls inside of the, of the room? You can see the details in the hair and the... Well, I don't think it was that, actually. I thought it was because she kept knocking them off the wall. <laughs>
Thank you for tuning in to Toastmasters Radio.